Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? We back. So, you know, in the last video, I was explaining um, just the astronomical relationships to what's going on with Christmas and its relationship to us. But with this one, I'm going to talk a little bit more about just the body and how it works, because on a deeper note, it's explaining, you know, how your body works, because we come from Mother Earth, Mother Nature, and our planet is going through this this procession within the starry skies and it goes through this procession yearly. It's like a loop, which is what I was saying our ancestors notice. And with the zodiac signs, those are just constellations that people just seem to be so confused about sometimes with just the, the mysticism and the mystery surrounded by these things. But what our ancestors noticed was that we're basically flying around the same stars. The stars are like trees. They're fixed and they don't move much. But we're moving throughout them. And when we get close to these stars, they emit certain tones, certain vibrations, certain energies, even the planets do. And when we're flying around a the cosmos, they notice that it seems to be 12 we seem to be hovering around. It creates the days, creates the years, the measurement, and the timekeeping. And so moving on with how this relates to your body, I specifically want to talk about the um, the Jed pillar and how they are raising that. And that's your spine. And those two people that you see, notice the two, you'll have the masculine and the feminine, which is what you see right there anyway, right? A male and a female. So those are the two energies that were basically, that's positive and negative. Your mind is the neutral point, but in earth, we're either on go or on hold. So... That's the masculine and the feminine source that's within you. And that thing they're raising is the middle of you, the spine, the spinal cord. You're supposed to stand tall, stand proud. And the planet is supposed to show you basically how that happens by when you get cold and you get a, uh, that's, that's, I'll say, symbolic of getting frail, uh, brittle, you know, losing your life, losing your life source. But you always have this opportunity to, what 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 would you say um rebirth yourself come come back fresher and new come back a little bit more proud stand tall and heat up that uh that passion in your life again that fervor that that passion and fire and desire that you need which is the heat source the sun and looking at the planet and and observing it and realizing you come from it it teaches you that again when it goes through this phase it's only but so long before the sun comes back and rises again, like every day the sun comes back out, it's symbolic of a new day to start, a new start, a new opportunity. And so you notice that you go through this cold phase and looking into um, Saturn, I guess you could say, it steps into the tropic of Capricorn around this cold phase. So let's look at it that way for a second. When it goes into the tropic of Capricorn and it sits there, for like three days and it starts to rise on the 25th so what capricorn is in occult work capricorn is basically um the teacher the master of the universe or the teacher of the universe it's the sign representing uh, and it's also saturn it's the energy that saturn holds an aspect of saturn at least so it's symbolic of like winter decay um death and it's associated with time. It's associated with maturing, aging, and mortality. So it kind of basically slows things down for you. It's the slowest moving planet, Saturn. And what you can look at that as is basically like it's the body that sees the most. And so it can apply the most. And when it's time to apply and get serious, everybody goes to Saturn because it knows it's seen the most. And it's also symbolic of um, what they call the reaper or the sower, which, you know, reaping, sowing, these are garden tools. These are gardening techniques. So when you look at Saturn, look at it as a gardener or a cedar. And this is basically the, the products of the earth, like how you reap what you sow, you get out what you put out. Saturn also governs the products of the earth. And, you know, I ain't going to get into it too deep for that. This isn't about zodiacs. I want you to relate all what I just said, though, to yourself, basically, because this is also the force of justice. It's kind of like the teacher. Around this time, things get real and they get serious, as in it's cold now and 
in natural times. I know we have uh, grapes all year nowadays, but that's not natural. That's called GMO, genetically modified stuff. So in a natural world, basically you would have to live off of what you sold. Like you're going to have to reap what you've sown for the year and live off that and face that, accept that. Like if you didn't have enough food, you're out of luck. If you did have enough food, then you're in good luck. But whatever the case, Saturn, this time, this energy, this frequency of this year that we're in, it teaches you acceptance and slows everything down. You're not all out in the summertime partying right now. You're probably really contemplating. So speaking of that internal process, this time period, it's a good time to reflect and go go within because it provides you the ability to look backwards at the stuff that you've uh, collected over your journey and integrate all of that within your present moment because you kind of need it anyway. You're trying to bounce back out or bounce back up. So undergoing this, it creates basically an awareness of what you need to do to change and grow and evolve as an individual, like what you can do better because you can always do better. It's It's a journey. It's a marathon. It's not really a race and it's over. So, you know, again, embracing this whole period, it allows you to basically take responsibility for your actions and the choices. Hint, hint, this is kind of where the uh, naughty or nice list is coming from. But this honors your your, your process. (laughs) And we give thanks to Saturn for the wisdom that it provides, which is why, again, they're raising this Jed pillar because you're supposed to stand like this, this, um, this constellation here, like it literally rises on its back. And then from standing proudly, next thing you know, the earth is traveling through the stars and now things are just happening right again. Like standing upright, that 90 degree angle. We're getting a life again. We're getting the vegetation again. Spring of youth is coming. You know, we're getting new presidents, like I was saying, the 20th, like all this stuff is symbolic of that in the process your your body goes through and um yeah i think i'll i'll keep it at that i mean you know there's this obviously a lot more deeperness going through because it's such a deep topic but i think that's one of the most important parts of this time it just shows you to understand that you come back resurrected and anew every day and it's an opportunity to do better and arise from the ashes stronger than you were before. And so just keep that in mind around this time. And see you next video to 11 Light.